Hi guys, it's Chris with City Girl Homestead and me, Tom. <laughs> so tonight, this should be a fairly easy dinner. We're making something that Tom actually picked out, looked through recipes, and picked out for himself. How's that? <laughs> that one, yeah. uh -huh. All right, we are making baked Cajun garlic butter cod, and we have our I told you I got some free baking t potatoes the other day. We're using our baking bag because the, the cod only takes about 15 minutes. Might have to take about 20 because Tom didn't take it out in time. Yeah. And it's still a little froze. <laughs> and we're using a jar of my home canned green beans for supper too. So the first thing he needs to do is try to fit all of that in, here. in there. Jack said he didn't want dinner. I bought two pounds thinking he was coming over. But he's not, so, and which is funny, fish is his favorite. Look at that. It fit in there perfect. But see, what you want to do is see the flat sides? You want to flip them over on the flat sides. Oh, okay. Those are some big pieces, too. Well, pretty gonna, yummy. You're going to be eating fish for the next week. That's all right. <laughs> I don't like fish. I know you do. All right, so we're doubling this up because it only asks for three cod fillets. So that's about a pound. I bought two, so we're going to double it. So we've got three cloves of garlic. So you know I'm going to put about two tablespoons in there. All righty. Then it calls for... I don't know what the olive oil is for. <laughs> Calls for olive oil. Oh, it probably just keeps from sticking. Oh, it does. Like, no, it says to use it. So, um, it takes two tablespoons of olive oil. You want to check those, honey? And then it will be two tablespoons of Cajun seasoning. Which, you guys, this is the first time I think I've ever used it. Well, then we're nice and soft, no? All right, we'll take them out and put them on a plate. And then start the other one. All right, so there's two tablespoons. We couldn't find my second bag today. <laughs> so, you know what we're doing. All right, now it also says, while he's taking care of that, I'll help him out here. Just salt and pepper your fish before you start. Is this one? Yep. And then we're going to salt it. And then we're going to have Tom mix that together. <laughs> there you go. You wore it, you put the spoon in there. I know, right? We might be doing another fish recipe sometime this week, too. How's that sound? Some way playing to me. He loves fish. And I'm trying to find things that you don't have to deep fry it. Um, not that I'm, I'm offended to do that. I don't mind. <laughs> You're being so gentle. You guys look at him. He puts his tongue outside of his mouth whenever he focuses on something. <laughs> you got it mixed together again? I think so. Alright, now it doesn't say to, um, it just says to spread it evenly over so maybe take a spoon and go over each, each piece, piece of first fish. here let me give you a bigger spoon I gotta move you guys for a minute and then of course all I'm grabbing is small spoons here's a bigger one well I wanted to show you something else that was in that you guys know I got that shaker and then I sent 
one to Renee too. They had this in that package as well. And you just push this button and then you fill it with whatever you want. And then you can shake it on your stuff. So now I have two of them. I like when they do that. And I buy the box for one thing. And then when you go through it, sometimes you find some really cool stuff. Like when I used to hang out with um, Chelsea, she loved collecting all the old stuff, you know. Um, and so she took a lot of that home, didn't she? Yeah. Not just on one piece, Thomas. <laughs> I wasn't. We know what PC is going to pick. <laughs> that big one right here. Yep, that's got enough. You know, I've never even look. smelt this. Let me see. Ugh. I hope it's not too spicy. And I did spray the bottom really good because I don't want the fish sticking. You don't want to clean up the mess. That's what it is. No, you'll be cleaning it up. So do you want me to take the spray out? Probably. <laughs> Here, move your bowl for just a minute. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> you know, truthfully, I used to hate fish. My parents always got it. Um, I do like, what is that called? Smoke, yeah. sa smoke salmon. And um, I like bluegills. But now I like that ocean perch. Oh, that stuff is so good. And I actually do like that catfish. And, um, but like bluegills and stuff and bass you got to get them in the wintertime, because otherwise they're just too soft, and I don't like that. Ugh. I don't like a soft, mushy fish. Ice fish. So now that's going to go in the oven, and it says on 400 for about 15 minutes until the fish is opaque or flakes easy. So, I'm pretty excited. Let's see if he picked out a good one. Alright, so this is your recipe. Cajun top. Oh no, that's good. That's real good. <laughs> hey, you dead don't come out my ears. <laughs> Hold on, here it goes. Get back in there. Yeah. You wanna try your baked potatoes out of the microwave? Yeah. And our home canned green beans. Hmm. It's a pretty good looking fish. So I take I made it tartar sauce for no reason then, huh? For me, maybe not for you. <laughs> I made a lot though. Look. <laughs> oh, they were good green beans. And you actually helped can those ones, so. Nice and fresh. Yeah, you like that? Mm-hmm. So what'd you about, think about your dinner? I think it did pretty good. Winner, winner fish dinner? Mm-hmm. Look at that again, you guys. With all the spices and everything. Woohoo. Alrighty. So you guys have a blessed night. Be a blessing and goodbye, Tom. Goodbye. You guys have a great night.